everybody's harping about this post-exercise anabolic window. So it really, if there is this opportunity to consume nutrients at prime time to feed the hungry muscles, then you would want to focus on availability of nutrients in circulation and not when you actually consume the nutrients because there's this time course for them to, for the nutrients to peak in circulation. It's usually somewhere between one and two hours after you ingest the stuff. So how about we consume protein immediately pre, and then it'll be peaking in the blood like an hour-ish later, and then you'll be right in the anabolic window. So we didn't see any advantage to the immediate pre-protein versus the immediate post-protein. That was in 2014. So fast forward to 2024-ish, 23-24. Uh, one of my colleagues, Yasin Locke, he took our, our pre-post model and he kind of like, he ran his own uh, randomized control trial version of it, but he wanted to kind of exploit the possibility of further protein neglect on both sides of the training bout. So he compared an immediate pre- um, and post, immediate pre and post 25 grams of protein sandwiching the resistance training bout with a group that neglected all, all nutrients for three hours on both sides of the resistance training bout. Total daily protein was optimized at around uh, close to a gram per pound, two, two-ish grams per kilogram of body weight. No significant difference, no meaningful difference in muscle size and strength gains at the end of the I believe it was a 10 or 12 week study.